Viatop, le grand édifice, bon huit tellier, home of the infamous trumpet falls and mirror garden, where one is truly struck by the low grandeur. So we bring you that soul sister to the stars, that eternal debutante with particular taste and charm, that wacky wit of the Western world, the Sybil of Thalmia Brunchen. Thank you, thank you so much for that introduction. Full grandeur of the Trumpet Towers Garden. Boy, isn't that true? My goodness, every time I walk in there, I'm, I'm struck by how much it looks like the set for Towering Inferno. All those <laughs> huge expanses of stone and stained glass and water, one feels it's all going to come tumbling down and that there should be 12 guest stars, people who are in the Towering Inferno, like Steve McQueen. And, oh, it's just so strange in there, so strange. Darlings, it's divine to have you here. As you know, this past week, I appeared at J. Antonio's on Christopher Street. I hope you were there, darlings. I signed tons of photographs. It was divine. Um, and, uh, oh, I did a little special on getting hats last week, and when I got, I, I said that I would do a little byline this week. You know, sometimes I had my hair done down by Monsieur Nick at Plaster Store. Plaster Store! <laughs> you know, it's right down in the village, the East Village, Plaster Store, which is also known as 8th Street, or 6th, which is it? 8th or 6th, well, whatever it is. But, you know, it was called the hair capital of the world by a friend of mine, Michelle Marjulier, said, you know, 8th Street is the the hair capital of the world. He said, let's rename it. Let's call it Rue Do. <laughs> Rue Do! So, like, that's too funny for words. Uh, when I go down there, I'm going to say, Monsieur Nick, I may have a hair done here at Plaster Store or Rue Do. <laughs> but anyway, oh, darling, if you run out of the house and your hair's a mess and you're, you're running off to Kmart with Lee Radswell, what are you going to do? <laughs> We've got to come up with something clever. So go to your drawers, look in your wardrobe, and pull out a pair of gym shorts and use it as an athletic snood. Do you like it? I think it's very becoming. And you can arrange it in all sorts of ways. This is a lovely gray sort of satin chignon. We have hot pink, which with a monogram, which is so very tasteful. This is the sort of thing I ban a trunk would wear. Look at that. Isn't that becoming? I prefer something, well, of course, for St. Patrick's Day, you can go wearing the green. You can wear an awning like this with a sunburst. Pull it back. Very becoming. Red for those floor of the red menace days. Look at that. Isn't that becoming? I think I must look very sexy. Oh, my. And, of course, my favorite for evening wear, a nice pair of yellow satin ones. There we go. I should not be afraid to appear in front of Philip and Elizabeth like this at all, darlings. Receive the queen in your athletic shorts. Oh, that's lovely. Listen, we're cutting away for a commercial. We'll be right back. So far, darlings. Oh, are we back? God, welcome back, darlings. Did you all have a nice bathroom break? Um, no, darling. Did you see that shrimp? Now, what was it? it? wasn't shrimp teriyaki. It was Madam Butterfly Shrimp. Did you like that recipe? God, that was almost as good as my recipe I did about a year ago. Peanut butter jello. <laughs> I love peanut butter jello. Let's open another letter. Dear Sybil, what is the advisability of taking home something beautiful that you've seen on the street? <laughs> well, darling... Haven't you admired my, my wardrobe? Mummy's found the entire wardrobe on the street. <laughs> no, that's not true. I shouldn't say that. My wardrobe comes from a lovely store named Panache on Hudson. But I, my whole apartment is furnished out of the most beautiful antiques. I found them on the street. You'd be amazed what Philistines there are. They don't know what's beautiful, darlings. On Easter Sunday, I was too slow and was beat out by a car from New Jersey. I've always believed that he who hesitates is lost. What do you think? Mr. Friedman. In case I miss you on TV, you can always call me at 989... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, Mr. Friedman, I shall call you, and I know what it is to see something beautiful on the street, and suddenly a, a car of babbling idiots from New Jersey comes up, picks it up. It's a Louis Quinze desk that was owned by, oh, God, who? Josephine Napoleon? It's obviously a museum piece. They pick it up, they chop it into firewood and say, yippee, we can burn something in the fireplace, and off they go to Bayonne. I know what it's like. Mr. Friedman, you must move a little faster, darling. Let's open another letter. Oh, dear. What was this? Was this one I opened? I don't think so. Oh, uh, oh, my. No, I can't read that one. <laughs> I always think when people write letters and then put little strange drawings on them that look like Kama Sutra positions, we should be very careful. I shall save that one for later. Who wrote that to me? Well, whoever did it said the delectable Sybil Brunch. I shall review it, whoever wrote that, and maybe read it on the air another time. I'm very careful, though, my dear. Sometimes children watch. 
like Donald Trump. <laughs> or the guests, Cornelia and Alexander, thank you for asking about them. They are trying not to eat with their hands so much. I think that's very encouraging, considering I've kept them on a solid soup diet. <laughs> they keep cupping it up in their hands. I said, darlings, this is broth. No, there's, there's Cornelia and her mother. Oh, by the way, one of you asked me who CZ Guest is. CZ Guest, she's a friend of Oatsy Charles, and CZ Guest is Cornelia's mother, and she is also Alexander's mother. It's Cornelia and Alexander, brother and sister. And CZ Guest, I don't, those are her initials, CZ. I was told by Michelle Marjulier that CZ Guest stands for Cha Cha Zany. So the next time you see CZ Guest on the street or on page six, just go up to her and say, hi, hey, Cha Cha Zany, how are you today? I'm going to do that the next time I see her at the Metropolitan Museum benefits.